and welcome to Ask Greg. I've got an itch, but I don't think I should scratch it. Martha Escamilla writes, I am ready to call it quits with my boyfriend, but I want to figure out why I end up with guys like him. He's controlling, jealous, and rude to me when he drinks. He's an alcoholic as well. I'm still in it because he says he's willing to do a relationship workbook with me. Those workbooks, oh, <laughs> they always help. Always do a workbook drunk. <laughs> Do you think it's a good move, or should I just run as far as I can? Run, you should get in the space shuttle and shoot your way out of here, kiddo. Because he's a drunk, and that's his problem that he has to fix before any of that stuff can happen. And I'm sorry, but a workbook, is not, even one at the back of one of our uh, delicious books, is not going to help you. The best, thing, the best thing you can do for him is to leave him so he figures out that his life is horrible without you and then gets himself into a program. Elizabeth Drake writes in, I just got dumped by a guy. He was, quote, too busy to see me, and your book is helping me survive. I do have one problem. Both of us belong to a 12-step group and attend two of the same meetings. I don't want to change the meetings. I know about the 60-day he talks, but do I have to change my meeting? Just change the meetings. Yes, you need to change the meetings. Or, uh, yeah, just change them. You not showing up will show him that you're moving on, and he'll wonder, and those meetings will always be there, and it's best for your sobriety. Go hang out with your sponsor. Michael Pacuro writes, I've just graduated high school and I'm still wondering what to do with my life. I want to be a vet, but what are some of my other options? <laughs> well, buddy, you got a garage and a sign with your name on it? How about that? You could have your own show. It's so glamorous. Buddy, when I got out of high school, I didn't know what pants to wear. You're way ahead of the game. Relax. Enjoy life. Meet some chicks. Go to college. Go to France. Blow it. Get fired. Do some crazy stuff. And then become a vet. You're a good man, Michael Pacuro. And we'll watch out for you. This has been another episode of the show that loves you more than you can love yourself, ask Greg. We do, what? Don't judge me with your camera. This guy. <laughs>